Good show, EA. Good show. But is it worth my 65? Is it worth my sub 65? Look, I don't know if you subscribe to me yet, but if you have not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's about to go down. You rocking with your man, Big Play Killer. The last breakdown. Should I or should I not buy NCAA 14? All right, people. Contrary to some of you guys' belief, I have not pre-ordered the game yet. I'm looking, I'm still trying to decide, am I going to buy the game? But I'm going to tell you this, if you pre-order the game at different places, GameStop, you get the SEC, this game package or something that you get, Ultimate Team or whatever, and I know at Target is the ACC, if I pre-order it, I will be getting it from Target or GameStop. But uh, I will say this right here, the game captures the college atmosphere. They nailed that, I mean... The running, everything they talked about, the planting or whatever is there. You still got a little swerviness, but the plants and stuff, watch this juke right here. Now that's that's just I never seen that before in the EA game. Well they had it a long time ago, but it was it was not as crisp and clean. So I feel like if you're a college fan, you will enjoy like just the scenery, the different teams, the uniforms. The celebrations, all that kind of stuff. You can you can play with your team and build your team up to be a powerhouse. And who doesn't want their team to be a powerhouse? So if you're you're an Ohio State fan, you can beat Michigan every year if you go into dynasty mode and and build your team up to be the beast of a team. Now you still have crazy stuff going on like number number 98, he disappears or 88. See how he disappears? Like you still have this kind of stuff going on in EA's game. So it's not perfect by far. The kicking game needs some help. I will say that. The kicking game is almost the same. The tackling and stuff is a little better, but the blocking on the kicking game, and right here on the extra points, the blocking and stuff is still the same. It's still the same old stale, just kicking game. It's easy to kick. It, I mean, you can talk, you can make a sandwich and kick the ball off at the same time. They got a lot of these cutscenes. Some of these cutscenes are nice, but I hope they, uh, in the future, moving forward, they can. Make it where there's not as many cutscenes, and they can actually see the real players on the field celebrating. Because what happens is sometimes you get different guys that will be in these cutscenes. You might have a guy that's red shirted, and you'll see him on the, in these cutscenes, and that's the kind of stuff you really you're like, huh? And, and you see that when you get into the game. Right now in the demo, you really can't see it. Now, what I've started to notice is the offensive line play. It is is superb, meaning overpowering. Like how this guy gets a sack here, he's not blocked. Most time when guys are blocked, it's kind of hard for them to get off on the running and passing. Not as much passing as it is running. Uh, moving forward in the video, we will see some of the uh, blocking running, what I mean by that. And I could be doing something wrong, but at the same time, it's happened uh, a number of times and I've tried different things with my controller pad. And right here when Johnny uh, football takes off, I mean, Johnny, I like Johnny, man. I like watching Johnny. But when I'm playing this game, I really don't feel like I'm playing with Johnny. He's faster than other quarterbacks, but he doesn't feel like he's Johnny. So that part of it, I, I kind of wish they would work on. Now, the passing has gotten better, but I still feel like they can upgrade the passing a little bit more. Like the the projection of the ball sometimes. I still want to see the passing get a little bit better. Like it's still like a straight line sometimes. And the sparrow looks better. And I don't know, the catching and everything looks a little better. But I don't know. We need to get into the game a little more. I know the quarterback uh, runs kind of funny out of the pocket. Now this option is, is looking real nice right now. So you have that college feel is none of that pick up and play anymore because you have to learn how to play the option. But one thing I'm afraid of, the guys that really master the option with this overpowering blocking by the offensive line, will the option be too powerful? I mean, will it be too easy to score once you learn your option reads and how well this offensive line blocks? Um, that's one of the things that I'm kind of concerned with right now. I know some guys can master this stuff. 
and it might be a long day for some people. All right, now some things that were added this year that I, I like, they have, you can change your camera angle. Like I can zoom down and actually see the field like the quarterback. They have different kind of angles. I think it's the left analog stick where you can zoom down and see the field. I didn't do it right here, but you can zoom down and see the field as a running back, as a quarterback, um, and as a defensive player. And right here, the organic running. Like when I saw, once I saw the guy break the line to tackle me, I did a little spin and I spent off him. That improves the gameplay right there. Those are some of the things I like about this. Now let me touch on the, on the cut scenes while I tell you guys I don't care for the cut scenes. Sometimes I was just 84 is picking up number one. Number one might be red shirt or he might be injured or 84 might be red shirt or injured, but he'll still be on the field. Same thing with these guys. Like right now they're over excited. It's the end of the first quarter and they're up by seven points and we're driving the ball. My team look like we're losing and they are winning, like just blowing us out. So sometimes I don't care for those cutscenes. But right here, we're going to run an option play. I read the DN just right, um, keep the ball, and watch the violence on the end of this play. You got two guys hitting the quarterback, and then you have a third guy that comes and cleans them up. But the quarterback is still fighting to get a first down. That's the kind of stuff I like to see in this new NCAA football game. And right here, open field tackle. You force your guy with the new cutting system for guys to have to make open field tackles. So now if, if guys switch, right now you can really put a move on somebody out here in the open field. It's kind of harder to put a move on a computer, but that can be done. And the sideline catches, end zone catches, I enjoy it. My man, uh, Star Wars Junkie 777, he doesn't care for it as much, but to me it gives the game organic feel. You never know what's gonna happen. I'm not. You don't have to see the same animation every time plays out. The same one or two animations is like four or five or six different catches, and I mean that's what goes on in the football game. Now the blocking, I'm going to address this later on, but uh, to me, I could only make plays with my linebackers when I'm not getting blocked. When I get blocked, when the, when some hands get on me, it's kind of hard. Now the option play is hard. I'm saying if you guys learn how to master the option now you will be a force to deal with online with the old line how the old line is blocking and with the uh, different varieties of option plays if you learn this now you will be ahead of the game all right now watch out this I see that cut right there these cuts actually exist you know sometimes EA tell you some things and, and it doesn't play out like that right as of right now it's playing out like that and the interceptions look nice on this game uh, it's faster the screen doesn't take as long to turn around and uh, I feel like just that part of the game is better. You see the violence right there. That big receiver ran over the first guy. I mean, this is what I want to see in a football game. Fluent, violence, a physical presence. And watch this play right here. This play was a fake to the running back and a screen to the wide receiver. These are the complex plays I want to see. And and now it's going to like really have a defense on their P's and Q's because you can run so many different formations and sets and plays. That's that's what I want to see, EA. I'm glad you're paying attention to the little small details. Now, right here we see a glitch where the guy helmet comes off a little bit. And it actually stays off for the next play. I actually click on this guy the next play. Um, like This right here doesn't really bother me like that. It's, it's a glitch. I mean, it's just some things that's going on. Oh, yeah. Other glitches I've seen, like my game has frozen three times already and John Doe he talked about this uh and when he played NCAA his game froze on him a few times so I hope they get that fixed if the freezing of a game that's not good um and right here I like the little like how my guy's trying to hit the quarterback and his head is getting pushed into the dirt that's the kind of stuff you want to see man that's uh, when you're on the football field you got to make a tackle whatever way you can make a tackle and here we go again with his option play like I say, the blocking is crazy on these option plays. Um, I hope they fix. I don't want to have to touch my sliders. EA, when the game is in my console, it should the, the blocking and all that should be correct. I don't. I shouldn't have to touch my sliders. Here's another sideline catch again. The guy didn't catch the ball, and but there's another a uh, uh, great animation. All right, here we go. Here with the blocking, I was trying to tell you guys about. Watch how when the offensive lineman lock onto my guy. I can't get off. I'm pressing to the left. 
and sometimes that worked with the, with the D ends. It worked better if you press to the left or to the right. But uh, with the linebackers, I noticed sometimes when you press up, it works better. But I mean, I'm just getting manhandled down the whole field. So I don't know how good that number 36 is. Like he might be a transfer, like a DB switched over to a linebacker. So maybe not. He's not that strong. I can't see his attributes, but uh. I don't know. All right, check this right here. See how my guy's stumbling and falling right here? You can actually recover from a stumble. Watch how my guy's stumbling and falling. I pull back, and he actually recovers himself. So you can recover from a stumble in this game. You have to just pull back away from the um the whatever way he's going. And I, I like the DB play. Sometimes the DBs cover a little too much ground. But at the end of the day, I like the DB, DB play. I'd rather see them fight for the ball then to see guys standing around just watching. Um, and this is a play I showed at the beginning of the video. Sometimes I do see uh, defenders, they'll pause, stop, and turn away from the ball on this game. So, and that that's what we would see a lot in like 2012 and stuff. You see guys pause and stop and, and run away from the ball sometimes. And I do see it sometimes in this game, not as much, but like I say, this is a demo. I have not put the hours into the game that I will put into a game. Now, this play right here surprised me. I didn't see the same EA had a ball sucks up into people. Like, I've seen it on, uh, what was it? And the announcers, they just blow this call. Like, they, they say everything wrong about this call. But the ball doesn't suck them to 27's hands. i seen it on some onside kicks how the ball is just sucking to a guy's hand. But on this play, it didn't suck into the guys, and they actually had to fight for the ball. So that's an improvement from EA. Now, right here, I was expecting EA to get this wrong. Like, I, I thought they got it wrong because in the past, they would botch this kind of stuff with what the announcers would say. I got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Now, this was a shocker for me because I'm used to EA messing this up some kind of way. Either the guy would make the wrong call from the booth or the, the guys on the play-by-play -play guys would say the wrong thing on the field. But they actually got it right. So I have to give credit where credit's due. And I'm loving this still for him, but I have to give credit where credit's due, EA. You're finally starting to get stuff right. I appreciate that, man. Good look. This still for him, I love this still for him, though. I look at that. That's the best still for him I've seen EA in a long time, man. And, and watch the running. Look at this cut right here. Watch the cut. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Killed him. And you could never really cut like this in EA. All pro, you can't even really cut this good. And watch how this guy comes up and cleans him up. Every inch counts now. Now let's look at a few more plays and look at the blocking. The, the blocking, the tackling and stuff is good, but watch the blocking. The, the, the blocking is overpowering. I know this is a drill, but this everybody's getting blocked. Nobody gets off a of block. Um, right here, look at the cut by Harvey. That's nice cut. Love that. Can't complain about that. But watch the blocking again. Like, the safety comes up. Now, the, at the point of attack, this is perfect. Every inch matters. He doesn't score. That's great. But the blocking is a little too strong. Now, watch this guy come out of nowhere, number 48. This is kind of, I've seen this a few times. Look, you can't even see number 48. I got one of the fastest running backs in the game. Look how he runs him down. So, this kind of stuff still shows up in the game. I hope EA cleans this up. But I think it's a buy. I said that I think this game is a first day by day. We'll have their problems, but I will be going to Target or GameStop pre-ordering my game. If you are still watching, hit the like button. I want other people to see this video, man. I'm out.